certainly felt wanted at our Leo's Coney Island High School Game of the Week. Romulus head coach Tom Patterson told me he had students calling the other team at Garden City to make sure they combined to win the vote this week. 10,000 votes later, we showed up. They got us there. The fun for Garden City, we had a lot of it before kickoff because Romulus took over right when the game started. Jalen Tatum hands it off to Malik Morgan. Romulus jumping out ahead, 6-0. Garden City down two scores when a little play action fools everybody. Even our camera guy. That's all right, hiding on the sideline. Dylan Rayburn pulls it in and the Cougars down just seven. From there, Romulus quarterback taking over. That's Tatum, he's sealing it. Running right at us with two touchdowns, a couple of late scores from Garden City, but Romulus gets the win in our game of the week, 25-20. Oh man, oh man, what a wonderful opportunity. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you to the community for voting. Uh, we just can't say enough. It's great for both both Garden City and Romulus. It's, it's just a tremendous opportunity. Hopefully we'll see you later in the season in the playoffs. Cool. All right, the night continues with a big rivalry game. Let's bring in Justin Rose with more. Yeah, Brad, first Friday night football of the season for myself, and I got to take in a great rivalry game as the Harrison Hawks hosted Farmington High School in, in Harrison. Excuse me. Celebrities in the stands tonight. Take a look at this guy, Dave Rexroth. His son plays tackle for John Harrington and the Hawks in Harrison. Well, they didn't uh, waste too much time. 26-0 in the second quarter. Devin Presley, one yard out. 33-0 in the Hawk defense. Swarming this fourth down attempt for Harrison. That didn't work, so only to get a little bit more greedy. Jimmy O'Connor over the top. That's a nice touchdown play. 40 to nothing. The Hawks, they're rolling. And a good one just down the road from us here in Southfield is A&T and Clarston. They head to overtime. Southfield gets the ball first. Sam Johnson, he scrambles but fumbles the ball. An interesting way to score a touchdown. Matthew Gilbert recovers it in the end zone for the score. 24-18, Clarkston with one last chance on fourth down. Southfield's defense says no. They get the win, the first win of the season for themselves, 24-18. Brett, back down to you. All right, PSL action. Detroit Leadership Academy in its first season, down 6-0. This might be the play of the night. Ooh. Sam McBride goes deep and hangs on. Detroit Leadership Academy rattles off 20 straight to win it 20-6.